Hello, everyone, and welcome to the next episode of Meet Lincoln. I am Tamsin Silver, and I am sitting on the beautiful back porch of Annie's Little Sure Shop. No one makes coffee and tea and other drinks like Annie. So um, I'm going to introduce you to Annie LeMay. She is the owner of this store. Annie, thank you for doing this. You met me because I came into town because I was researching Billy the Kid for what is now known as the Untold Legend series. Annie actually was great and carried the short story that was The Curse of Ska'op, and it sold well here. And we're going to be selling The Curse of Billy the Kid, The Torment of Richard Brewer, and The Murder of Cricket Coogler here as well. So if you come through Lincoln, you should be able to find my work here, and it's signed. What I want to know from you, Annie, is how did you end up here with this store? Well, I, I, I have, as you know, a mobile espresso trailer um, that I use uh, quite a lot with the film industry. But uh, I wanted a brick-and-mortar place. And I live in Capitan, but I chose Lincoln because it is a great walking town. And we used to, I probably before we met, I had my shop back in the back, but it was too far off the street. This place was vacant for 20 some years and some friends, we got together and uh, we had a lady that was able to purchase it and decided this was a perfect spot. And I've been here, it was five years in April. And you still, do you still do stuff with the film industry? I do, not as much. Um, of course, with everything's different. Um, but uh, yeah, and I, I'm, back in the day, I was pretty willing to do anything and drive anywhere. Most of the filming is done up in Albuquerque and Santa Fe. It's three, three hours one way uh, to get up there with my trailer. Um, so I started paring it down a little bit and having select people and I have some, some regular people that use me that are doing some TV series and stuff and, and they call me. It's it's really cool. I, I enjoy it a lot. Who is the most famous person you can think of on the top of your head that you've served coffee to? Gary Oldman. <laughs> uh, love him. Uh, Jennifer Beals. Ray Stevenson. They were all on the Book of Eli. Oh, yeah. Colin Farrell. Yay. Um, Brian Cranston, all the guys oh, from Breaking Bad. Oh, of course, from Breaking Bad. Yeah, yeah, love them all. Aaron Paul, Anna Gunn, everybody. Jesse Plimpton. No, I've heard, I live in Albuquerque, and I hear great things about how they were to everyone in, in town. Like They're humble, and they're kind, and they're grateful. And 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 uh, I, I'm, uh, I applaud their success, and I'm really happy for all of them. You started this five years ago. Now, did it start off as just coffee and drinks and baking, or how, what did it start with, and it, was art always your plan? Art was all, it was always an art thing. There were three partners, um, and uh, one of them, well, my landlady, who's still kind of a silent partner, uh, she's a, she does pottery, and then the other partner did silk scarves, and um, so we set it up as a gallery and coffee house from the day one. Do you have more than just local artists? Um, do you are they just New Mexican artists or? I represent more than fifty artists. All but two are New Mexico. Most of them are Lincoln County artists. That's really and nice. And the the non New Mexico artists are uh, relatives. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. So, you know, yeah. You do. Have hey, if you if you own a store, that's what you do. I mean, you carried my short stories before I lived here. So, um, appreciate that. There's, uh, I love the work. I believe your mother does work here as well, yes? Yes, yes. She has some amazing pieces in there. I'm buying one today, yes. ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Won't yeah. say what it is because it's a Christmas present. <laughs> yeah, she does, uh, she does painted rocks and she does um, uh, little saints and, and things like that. In fact, she just did a Saint Drogo, who is the patron saint of coffee. Uh. And also, the patron saint of the unfortunate looking, which is very cool. <laughs> it is so me. He's he was a shepherd, and uh, he had terrible hernias. Oh no! And so he's in chronic pain all the time. So he became the saint of the unfortunate. It's a fascinating story. It really is. I thought it was made up, but he there, he was a real guy. I think the coffee house saint came up a little bit later. <laughs> so, because he, what, did he hang out at coffee houses, uh, or? I, I'm trying to remember, I read the story about him, and he, um, I think he liked, he just was very fond of coffee, so, I, but I don't remember. <laughs> That's okay. 
Are you involved at all in any of the historical stuff here? I know that you do this amazing festival every year. I'd love to talk a little bit about the one you do. Most people consider Halloween, but you call it... Dia de Muertos. Yes. Day of the Dead. Uh, that dates back to the Aztecs and the Incas. And it's a celebration of the people that you loved who have died. And rather than mourning, they celebrate their lives and they put out altars with their favorite foods and they, they summon the dead home. They, the, the dead come, can come, <clears throat> they believe that the dead can come for a visit uh, once a year, uh, the children on one day and then the adults on another. So they want to dress up the house and have everything nice for their visit and serve their favorite foods and play their favorite music. And it's beautiful and colorful. You'll see a lot of it in the gallery when you go in. It's, and this would have been our sixth annual. I had to cancel this year. But we'll have it. We'll do it next year. You bet. And we'll make it bigger and better. Bigger and so better. that's what we keep saying. We'll make sure it's extra special. Um, I've been here for them. For those of you who are thinking of coming to Lincoln, I highly recommend coming during that time of year. Number one, the weather is phenomenal. Uh, and Annie does an amazing job. This whole town dresses up for the event and there's live mariachi bands that go up and down the road and there's crafts and there's just amazing people here to meet uh, for it. So it's something that if you get the chance to come out here at the end of October, I highly recommend it. A lot of people come out here because this is one of the most well-preserved old towns in the West. What do you think it is about Lincoln that brings people back here and do you think that has to do with Billy the Kid or something else? Oh, absolutely. The Billy the Kid thing. I mean, he's one of the most legendary figures in, 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 in history. Um, and the reputation is that this is the best preserved Western town in the U.S. So anybody that's a Western history buff uh, is going to come. We, pe we have people from all over the world come. Lots of Europeans. The Europeans love it and uh, they're very happy to get good coffee. And it's, it's romantic. I mean, you can, you can truly walk down the street here in Lincoln and just, just with your imagination, picture the highway as a dirt road and you're there. It, it, it's, it's perfect and it's beautiful country and it looks the same as it did back in 1880s. It's, it's yeah. What do you think it is about Billy the Kid that is so infectious that has made him last this long? Well, gangsters are always fascinating. And, I, you know, I mean, I look, use that term very loosely. But, um, and he's he was an enigma. I mean, it's funny because some people say, well, why would you, why would you um, praise an outlaw? And other people say, you know, he was a victim of his time and his circumstances and I don't think it's black and white I think it's gray mm -hmm. and I think too he's the the iconic photograph the only known true photograph of Billy I have to say that <laughs> uh, um, it's a fabulous picture and it's been all it's been just put all over the world and uh, I think that in itself kind of helped build the legend as well because they said he was a very handsome charming young man as you know and of course that picture makes him look like a goofball and a lot of people a lot of historians will tell me and not a lot a few will say that's the only known photograph of that man have you ever had a bad dmv photo yeah and that's not his the hat he always wore he never wore that hat before or after that photo yeah and uh yeah he always wore a sombrero and people think it's the big mariachi sombrero and it's not it's a smaller hat yeah the other reason i think uh that he's so popular uh when the young guns movie came out it increased tourism here i don't i can't even i don't know how much i wasn't here but probably 100 percent, if not more oh, yeah. And, you know, they're, they're inaccurate, and they're romantic, and they're silly movies, and I love them. I think Emilio Estevez did a damn good job of Billy. Job. And, damn and good I job. I would watch anything with Dermot Mulroney in it. Uh, know, it was a good group. It was kind of the Western Rat Pack. Right. You know, the new, the, uh, the uh, Breakfast Club of, of, of Western movies. And, man, it was a big boost for Lincoln. It was huge. Yeah. That's really fantastic. Um... Well, last question I'm going to ask you, because I'm asking everyone this one. Did 
Pat Garrett really kill Billy the Kid? Absolutely. I will be boiled in oil if I say anything otherwise. And ah. I believe it. Drew and I are good friends, and Drew is the king of the history of Lincoln. And um, we sit back here on the back porch and talk a lot. And yes, Garrett shot Billy, and Billy died in Fort Sumner fact that there's all this talk about maybe it wasn't maybe he didn't it adds to the legend and and why not i mean if yeah. it's going to help make it more interesting if it's going to bring more people and it leaves openings for me to write stuff so i'm not going to say exactly. no there's nothing wrong um, with, uh, with uh, yeah poetic license well, and thank you so videos. much for doing this. I really appreciate well, it. Thank you. And everyone, again, this is Annie LeMay. She runs Annie's Little Sure Shot here in Lincoln, New Mexico. If you come out here, you damn well better come get some of her coffee. <laughs> Take care and thanks again. Thank you. Bye.